In this training module, you'll learn how to submit a custom unlock in the United States with DJI's FlySafe portal, as well as learn how to submit a 107 waiver in the FAA's Drone Zone portal. Welcome to Propeller U. If you're flying in Australia or any other country, please see a list of resources linked in the supporting documentation for other aviation agencies. Custom unlocks are used in conjunction with your Part 107 FAA waiver to allow you to legally fly your drone in restricted airspace or when exceeding an altitude zone, shown as red zones in DJI's Fly Safe database. This airspace is usually encountered when flying near an airport, military base, or other restricted areas. We also recommend an app like Aloft to check airspace prior to any planned flights. You can find more detailed information on our knowledge base at help.propellerarrow.com. Once you identify that you need to operate in restricted airspace, you'll need to submit a FAA Drone Zone 107 waiver request. Go to the website FAA Drone Zone and create an account if you don't have one already. From the pilot dashboard, click Create Part 107 Waiver slash Authorization. To unlock airspace, click the Airspace Authorization Bubble and then click Start Application. Give your unlock an operation title and confirm your contact information. Click Next. Fill out all of the operation parameters, including start and end date, note time range of up to a year for recurring frequent flights, time frame, frequency, and local time zone. For the proposed location of operation, we suggest the following format. Size of the flight area, crossroads or nearest address, nautical miles in relation to the airport or restricted airspace, and nautical miles in relation to any known points. We provide more information and a template you can use in our knowledge base article entitled, Using FAA Drone Zone to Get a Part 107 Waiver. Enter in the latitude and longitude, the radius of the site, and the nearest airport and type. We recommend using Google Earth to identify the center point of your site. Click and review your information before clicking Submit. The FAA will review your application and respond by email within a number of hours or up to three months, depending on the size, area, and frequency of flights. Once approved, you'll be legally able to fly within that airspace. However, your drone will not take off without completing the DJI custom unlock that we'll cover next. Now that you have an active 107 waiver from the FAA, you're ready to unlock your drone. To get started, please log into your DJI account on fly-safe.dji.com. Please note, it must be the same account as the one you're logged into on your controller. Click New Unlock Request. You'll be prompted to choose between a custom unlock or a zone unlock. For this video, we'll be doing a custom unlock. The next window will autofill based on your DJI account settings. If this is your first unlock request, you'll also need to add your drone by clicking Add Device. Add the flight controller serial number, and please note that this is different from the aircraft serial number which can be found in the aircraft settings when both remote controller and the drone are turned on. Go to General Settings, About, and you'll see Flight Controller Serial Number listed there. Select your aircraft model and name your device. Click Confirm. If this is your first unlock, you will also need to Add Pilot and fill out the corresponding fields. Click Confirm, and then click Next. This window will allow you to enter your site address, or you can use the navigation buttons to fly to your site manually. You'll have the option to draw a circle, polygon, or you can import a KMZ of your site. Your drone will not fly outside of this boundary, so be careful where you draw. You can always use the small square or squares to adjust your site boundary. Next, you'll enter the time range for the flight. Custom unlocks can allow for up to 365 days on a single application. Then you will enter the altitude granted by your FAA waiver, 175 feet in our case. In the section, Unlocking Application Reason, it is good practice to give a brief description of your flight, the purpose for your data collection, and why you are applying for the unlock. 
We provide a detailed template with all the relevant information you should include in our knowledge base article using FAA Drone Zone to get a Part 107 waiver. Make sure to upload your approved 107 waiver from the FAA. If you have any questions about your unlock, feel free to reach out to flysafe at dji.com for support. Custom unlocks can take up to an hour or even a few days to be approved by DJI. You will be notified by email once it is approved. Once you have been approved, log into your controller with the same email you use for the application. Make sure you're connected and logged into Wi-Fi. In DJI Pilot 2, tap the Settings button, tap GeoZone Unlocking, enable an unlock certificate by tapping on the toggle icon. The toggle will turn green when the unlock is enabled. Confirm that you are authorized to fly and that you take responsibility for your flight. If you want to see more details about the unlock certificate, you can tap on it. In DJI GSRTK, from the home screen, tap on Fly, tap the three dots in the upper right-hand corner to open the aircraft settings, scroll down in the aircraft settings to find the Unlock Certificate list. After opening the list, tap Synchronize to obtain the most up-to-date list of your unlock certificates. The app list organizes the unlock requests by the flight controller serial number. Under that serial number are the valid unlock certificates for that drone. Tap Import Aircraft the text will change to imported. Then switch over to the aircraft list and confirm the unlock certificate has the correct date and time. To activate the unlock certificate, tap the toggle switch so that it is green. Remember that only one unlock certificate can be activated at a time and to turn the certificate off after the flight as it can interfere with future flights in normal airspace. You are now ready to fly in restricted airspace. In this module, we went over how to create a FAA 107 waiver request as well as how to file a custom unlock with DJI's FlySafe database. For more information, you can read the supporting documentation for this module or check out our knowledge base, help.propellerarrow.com.